All right, all right, all right. Come on in, guys. And share, share, share. You can share this to your groups, y'all. Come on in, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Forward Friday, guys. Come on in. I'm super duper excited. Today is um, our life coaching graduation today. So I'm excited for our graduates today. Um, it's going to be tonight, you guys. So if you are in the surrounding areas, come out and join us and celebrate with us. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. Um, it's exciting. This is our last graduation for 2022. So we're super duper excited. So come on in, you guys. Let me share as I'm telling you to share. I need to share as well. So let me get over here and get over here, get over here. Hey, 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 y'all. Come on in. Come on in. I'm going to wait for some more people to come in before I start the lesson. Um, let me know where exactly you are joining me from. Hey, 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 Dr. Devers. I see you. I see you. I couldn't see you before, uh, but now you're popping up on my phone. I can see you guys on my phone now. Couldn't see you before. All right, I'm going to make a post. Um, no. I have people trying to text me this morning. We're not going to do it this morning. Come on in, y'all. Dr. Lomax is busy, busy, busy. I hope y'all have your pens and your paper. Um, this is going to be a good lesson today. So I'm doing something a little different. I want to give you guys some visuals and things um, just to make it easier. And so you can remember what we talk about on Forward Fridays. And so. Um, Today we're talking about, I'm going to, it's 13 keys to staying consistent, but it's a three part. We're only going to go through part one today. Um, and then next Friday, we'll go through part two and then we'll wrap it up the Friday after that with part three. I'm getting this over here. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. You are amazing too, Dr. Dever. So are you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. And remember, you got this, y'all. You got this. You got this. Um, Oh, here we go. I was looking for the groups tab. I couldn't find our groups tab, but now I found it. There we are. Found it. <laughs> so come in. It's Friday, y'all. Okay, fun Friday. Y'all know what we do over here. You get the bloopers and blunders. Um, so there's no telling what you may hear or see uh, while we're doing this. But come on in, you guys, as we, um, there we go, coach to coach. Shared with all our coach to coach people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I see you, I see you, author Barbara Owens. I see you, ma'am, I see you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Uh, this is so exciting for me today because this is our last graduating class that's gonna be graduating tonight at 6 p.m. So if you're in the Vista area, Oceanside area, San Marcos area, if you can get to Atmosphere of Faith Christian Church, y'all, that's where we're having the graduation tonight. Um, for our final graduates of this year we're wrapping it up and i'm getting a much needed break but today for forward friday we're talking about 13 keys to staying consistent so share this with your with your friends invite somebody in or share it within one of your groups um and thank you thank you thank you um and share it with one of your groups because i want everybody to get these things because one of the the biggest uh downfalls of a lot of entrepreneurs is consistency They'll start something, and I can attest to this because I've done this before. And we hear people say this over and over, but for whatever reason, we don't take it in. But consistency is key. You have to be consistent. Listen, I always tell people, even if you have one person, all right, even if you only have one person watching you or whatever, be consistent. And that's how you build up uh, a following. That's how you build up people uh, following you and, and people tuning in is they want to first test it. They want to see if you're going to be consistent with doing it, whether you have viewers or not. And when I started Forward Fridays, I didn't have any viewers. But I did them, okay? I did them, and I kept doing them, and eventually people got a little interested, and they were like, well, what is Forward Friday? Let me go over and see what Forward Friday is. Let's see what Forward Friday. And so now I do them, and people are expecting to see a Forward Friday on Fridays. Uh, we took a much-needed break, but now we're back, and being consistent and doing it is how I built up 
uh, my following here on my life coaching page. So that is part that is key. And that works too. Um, I always talk to the authors as well. If you have an author page, be consistent, go and give them a little excerpt of out of your book, you know, something, but build it up. And I'm going to get into this. And so it says a great characteristic is consistency. OK, everyone needs to build up their consistency and implement it in their life. Y'all, it's the key to setting and achieving goals. It's so easy to set a goal. But in order to achieve those goals, you have to be consistent and working toward those goals. OK, so this is how you you become more consistent in your life. And so I'm going to share some of these keys with you. Um, and this is and, and this and this in my and and what I'm doing, I'm I'm hoping and praying that this will help you be more productive and more optimistic when it comes to your goals and comes to your businesses and ministries too, because people need to be consistent in ministry as well. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's get into this. So number one, this is part one of three parts. All right. So remember, today we're only going to do part one. And there's like five keys that are in um, from the 13 that we're going to talk about today. And so the first part is called implementing consistent practices. OK, you can't be consistent if you're not practicing being consistent. All right. So let's go. So um, number one is create specific and realistic goals in order to be consistent and we call those smart goals good morning coach i see you coach lakita i see you ma'am but in order to be consistent the first thing you have to do is create specific and realistic goals we call them smart goals all right um if you took my if you took my life coaching course that got drummed into your skull is smart goals, smart goals, smart goals. All right. Because it's hard to be consistent if you don't have a strong idea of what you need to do. So being realistic, being specific is key when it comes to these goals. OK, so number one is start by defining what consistency means to you. So in the comment section, can somebody tell me uh, what consistency means to them? All right. I'll give you a minute while I talk about that. I won't go to the next key, but we'll stay right here. But defining, that's the first thing you got to do is do you need to be more consistent? I'm just going to ask these questions while you tell me what consistency means to you. Are you aiming for a higher quality of work? Do you want to be more available and more reliable in your relationships, whether those are business or whether those are intimate? OK, so those are some of the questions um, that you need to ask yourself when it comes to defining what consistency means to you. All right. Another point is once you have identified your end goal. Here we go is identifying and creating um, identify your goal and create small steps to complete it sometimes. All right. And I can attest to this, too. We want to take this big goal that we want to accomplish and we want to do it in huge chunks that my friend self sabotages you each and every time you don't want to do that. OK, you want to chop it up into smaller steps in order to reach the big goal, okay, to accomplish it. Don't try to eat the whole hamburger in one sitting, all right, or pie, all right, but slice it up, all right, slice it up. Do you know how fast you can eat a whole pie? I know, Barbara, I know, ma'am, I know, woman of God. Do you know how fast you can eat a whole pie when you eat it by the slice? OK, sometimes, listen, I'm not even going to lie. I've eaten a whole pizza by myself before when because I broke it down into smaller chunks <laughs> or I'm telling on myself. All right. So if you want to become like more physically fit, let's talk about that. Let, let, let's just go for, you know, instance, that's the goal, because that is one of my goals. You want to be more physically fit. So you may say I'm going to exercise five days out of the week. Or sign up for some sort of class. All right. So five days. Now you got those five days out of the week. Now you're going to break it down. How many minutes or hours each day are you going to um, exercise in order to reach that maximum goal of being able to um, reach five days? Because, again, I've tried that 
And I went straight for, oh, I'm going one hour a day for five days. Day two, I was tired. So I had to break it down and say, no, I'm going to do 30 minutes of exercise a day for five days so that I can be consistent in my workout. All right. So you got to break it down into smaller bits and pieces. OK, uh, what we say uh, over here, what do I what did I tell you guys, Lakita? Coach Lakita, I said, go slow and low. Slow and low. Do you not know that low impact, um, low impact workouts works out your body more and you lose more uh, body body fat than if you do a high impact workout straight out the gate? Start slow and low, okay? Um, so same thing with your goals. Don't try to take this big old goal and say, boom, I'm about to do this. No, break it down into smaller chunks and say, what can I achieve first, quicker? What's the quickest thing I can do? One of the steps that I know that I can achieve in a small amount of time. So slow and low. Don't try to do a big chunk. Just break it on down. Hey, 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 I see you. I see you, Vincenta. But break it down, okay? Now, Here's the other thing. Number three right here, that third bullet is where everybody, including me, all right, this is where all of us have tripped up ourselves and self-sabotaged our entire goal accomplishment. And that's because we weren't specific. This is something else that I teach in my coaching classes is be specific. You must be specific. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to exercise. Or you just can't say, oh, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. Well, how are you going to lose the 10 pounds? Oh, well, I'm just going to work out. Well, how are you going to work out? Um, Then you don't know. I'm going to go to the gym. Well, when are you going to go to the gym? How many times a week are you going to go to the gym? How many times out of that day are you going to spend in the gym? You see what I'm saying? You got to break it all the way down to its smallest component. You have to break it down, but you got to be specific. And this was something um, that I've been teaching a lot of my clients as well when they're trying to get clients. When if you go and read your who who over here is on um, who is on Instagram. Thank you, Dr. Devers. Consistent, dependable, reliable. Uh, who is on Instagram? If you've seen people's bios on Instagram, okay, go look at people because Facebook, we give everything. They give you a lot of space. On Instagram, they don't give you a lot of space, all right? They don't give you a lot of space, and they do it on purpose because they want you to be specific about who you are, what you have to offer, and who your target audience is. Those three. OK, you must be specific. And so if you go and you check out some of the bios, you will see that they get all the way down to the nitty gritty. They're very specific, laser focus, as we call it, laser focus. You just can't say what well, my goal is. I want to empower women. Well, what women do you want to empower? How are you going to empower them? What tools are you going to use to empower them? Um, all these different things. But you just can't say, I want to empower women. Or if you're a gentleman watching, I want to, you know, mentor men. What men? What age group? Um, are they a professional? Um, or, you know, you, you have to break it down to the nittiest, grittiest, as we say. Yes, it's like breaking a fraction down to the smallest to the smallest component you are so, you're trying to solve for y okay remember those x's and y's you're trying to trying to do that so you got to create specific and realistic goals for yourself okay now let's go to key number two create a schedule y'all we have talked about this so much over here on forward friday and i tell people um let's get rid of this right here this is irking me Let's remove this um, this logo. All the stuff is cute, but sometimes it just gets in the way. There we go. But when it comes to breaking down, um, creating a schedule. Now, I I have a whiteboard on on my wall in my office. Um, I have a whiteboard, okay, and it's a calendar whiteboard, so I can just wipe off, write whatever you know month and year that I want to put in there and the days and stuff like that. But this is this is an easy way for you to keep track of your task. I know you, it sounds simple. It sounds simple to a lot of people, but it's not when it's time for you to actually start filling in your planner. <laughs> 
It actually is not simple. Okay. When you start, when you break this stuff down, then you're going to find out how much it is you were trying to, you were trying to bite off. Okay. You, you really will find out how much that you were really trying to bite off and it was too much. And you have to, you have to make sure that you are breaking this stuff down because you will, you will burn yourself out. You'll get overwhelmed. And then guess what happens when you get overwhelmed? You get uninspired. You get uninspired. You get unmotivated. Okay. So it, it can be easy to pile tasks and promises, but if you got a calendar, if you got a planner, if you got a schedule, it will help you keep track and it'll help you plan your day. You guys take the time to plan your day. And one of the best days to do it is like a day uh, like Saturdays. Um, I tell everybody I create my schedule for the week on Saturdays. I sit down and I write out the things that I need to do. I plan my content, include my content, guys. OK, every Saturday I plan my content for the entire week. Then I go to my planner and I put it on that board on my whiteboard. OK, I put it on my whiteboard and right here it says use a mobile app. I also use my Google Calendar and Outlook. Outlook is wonderful, but Google Calendar is amazing because you can set the alarm. Um, and so I set the alarms for this. I set the alarms for my Thursdays or Thursdays, but everything is planned. My days are planned. I'm not just running around saying, oh, I don't know what I want to do today. No, I have a planner. OK, so get you a planner. Um, and a de desk, desk planners are great. Those big desk uh, calendars, those are wonderful. They are, but I still like the ones that you put on the wall. Okay, I like the whiteboard because it's least expensive. You don't have to continue to buy it. All right, so let's go there. All right, so use the, the, the paper planners, the whiteboards, desk calendars, mobile app. Block off realistic time for tasks. Now, here's where a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh. Realistic time for task. You should not be spending more than 30 minutes to an hour on a task each day. All right. So that's how my days are are broken down. I don't spend more than one hour on a specific task. OK, I don't spend more and more than one hour on a specific task and I don't task myself all right. Listen to all of you multitaskers, because multitasking is just doing a whole bunch of nothing and completing nothing. All right. <laughs> it's doing, well, I won't say nothing. It's a whole it's doing a whole bunch of stuff, but you're not completing anything. All right. It just, it just tells you that you are all right. Multitasking is not healthy. All right. So I don't do more than two of my big tasks a day. And I don't spend more than an hour on each task a day. That's how I get things done and hit my goals for the week. All right. Is I break it down. I don't spend more than an hour because if you spend more than an hour and some of you guys can attest to this because you do it at your job, you spend more than an hour. <laughs> I know, Barbara, you spend more than an hour on one task. You get so unmotivated because now you're bored. You're bored with it. You're just like, oh, my gosh. Then then your task turns into a job. Then your task turns into irritation and frustration. OK, um, I teach this in my writing class. Walk away. Right? Don't spend more than one hour on specific tasks. Now, if you one of those people and you want to say, listen, I'm She-Ra or he man, uh, I'm going to hit three tasks every day. Well, if you're going to hit three tasks, don't spend more than 30 minutes on each task. OK, because that's taking on a lot. All right. Two is great, but three is is pushing it. And so 30 minutes on each. But if you got two tasks, an hour. On each task a day. All right. Now, here's another way to do that. That works well, um, depending on how big uh, the goal is that you're trying to set. Only do a certain task on a certain day. All right. If you have one task and you say, I'm going to work on, I don't know, my, my content for my Instagram on Mondays, give yourself two to three hours to work on your content on Mondays. But here's the key. Don't sit for three hours working on content. Break that three hours down into smaller chunks. All right. Work on it. Walk away. 
come back, work on it, walk away, go look at some Netflix, come back, work on it, and clock out. All right? Don't go past 5 p.m. Your brain starts to shut down at 4.30. <laughs> all right? So don't go past 5 p.m., all right, unless you're on a, a crazy shift or something. All right? But that's how you need to do it. All right? So if you guys didn't get that, you can catch the replay. All right? So don't do that. So block off realistic time for task because if you sit there and you're like man i gotta get this done by 5 p.m well that needs to be your only task that day all right then you just plan your other tasks for another day set small this is what i just said set small daily tasks for larger goals okay like writing a book don't spend more than an hour when you're writing because you will get uninspired all right don't do it more than an hour walk away <laughs> okay y'all an hour a day when you're writing a book is wonderful all right break it down into 15 minute increments if you take my writing class you will hear more about the 10 15 all right 10 15 plan losing weight again break it down into small daily tasks and plan your breaks don't just take a break okay because you know what happens when you take a break sometimes you're not going to come back to your task so be specific and be intentional when you're taking a break plan your break when you plan your task and you say i'm going to take a break for 30 minutes what are you doing for that 30 minutes to hold yourself accountable so you set your alarm 30 minutes over let me get back to this task i know guys <laughs> okay plan breaks don't schedule nothing else for your break. Don't say, oh, I'm about to get on the phone and talk to my girlfriend. No, take your break. Literally, take your break. Go get you a snack, sit down, relax a little bit. All right, then once that alarm goes off and your break is over, then get back to your task, okay? Don't just say I'm taking a break because you do all kinds of stuff. Be intentional about your breaks. Right, next key, post reminders. Because if you're like me, you know, I'm, I'm up there in age, I need reminders, okay? Because it's easy to forget your new goals. It's easy to get off track with your goals. It's easy to put other things before the goal. And the next thing you know, so much time is going by and you're like, oh my gosh, now you're trying to run around and get it done, all right? So here's some, some ideas. Uh, write your goals on Post-it notes. Put them on your mirrors, your fridge, your car. Y'all, for real, I have Post-it note on my steering wheel. When I get ready to go to the post office, okay, sometimes I forget. I need to go post office. I have a sticky note that say post office. I put it in there last night <laughs> because I got to go to the post office right after this, all right? So I have sticky notes. And uh, for those uh, of you, like I had COVID like really, really bad um, and I have COVID brain, so I forget. I forget stuff. And so now I have to use sticky notes, alarms, all kinds of stuff, all right? Um, that should say right on. I was typing too fast. Uh, write on pieces of paper and put it in your wallet, in your desk, in your drawer. I have sticky notes and pieces of paper inside my wallet. So when I open my wallet, it falls out. And I'm like, what is this? Rem it's a reminder for me. Y'all, I'm telling you, this stuff works. <laughs> It may sound it may sound crazy or it may sound like eh, weird, odd, but it works. OK, put a reminder on your phone. Now, this is for those who are going to pay attention to the reminder on your phone, because for me, sometimes I set those alarms and they go off at certain times and it irritates me. So I'll just turn the alarm off. That's why I have to write stuff. <laughs> I'm one of those people that the phone alarm, it works for me. If I'm doing other things and it goes off, it's like, okay, got it. And then I'll turn it off, but I can quickly forget about it. And so I have to write things down. And I travel um, with a notebook, a small little notebook. It's the size of, you know, like a, a small journal about yay big. I travel with one of those in my purse. And all the things that I need to do for the day is written in there. So in case the sticky notes get, you know, tossed or lost, in case the alarm uh, gets on my nerve and I turn it off, I got my notebook. I sound like blues clues. I have my little handy dandy notebook. Okay. <laughs> so I have that. All right. To help me um, to remind myself throughout the day of the things that I need to do. All right. Next up. Number four, key number four, don't make promises you can't keep, y'all. <laughs> and I'm talking about not just other people, but to yourself as well. 
All right. Follow through with chores. Get your chores done because that's those are some of the things and, and the smaller things that gets in the way of you reaching your goals when it comes to achieving your goals is those chores, y'all. We was like, oh, I'm gonna wash them dishes later. All right. <laughs> and then 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 all of a sudden the dishes are piling up and you got this going on and you got that going on. Toss them in your dishwasher the moment you think about it. Follow through with the chores. And it sounds it sounds just like, oh well that's just obvious, but it's helping you to be consistent and it's helping you in planning. Because if you start to plan your chores in with the tasks that you have to do, I'm telling you, you can get so much accomplished in your day and it'll keep you consistent. I do. Listen, y'all, my dishwashing stuff is planned. All right. Four o'clock dishes go in the dishwasher. That's just it over here. My dishes go in my dishwasher four o'clock. So I have four o'clock to mess up as many dishes as I want to. After that, it's paper plates. Paper plates, paper, you know, plastic forks, knives, paper cups. All right. Because that is it for the day. When it comes to that, I don't want to have dishes. I don't like I can't sleep if I have dishes in my sink. All right. So uh, four o'clock is the is when I stop with the dishes, the real dishes. OK, everything goes in the dishwasher. Anything after that, it is paper plates, paper cups. And that also helps me with my uh, weight loss plan, too, because it's like, well, the dishes are away. <laughs> So um, if I want anything, it's got to go on a paper plate or in a paper cup. All right. So don't make promises you can't keep. Um, and consistency. And the reason why I put it up there, consistency means commitment. It's a commitment to something. All right. That you're trying to accomplish. So commitment. So don't make promises because it's so easy. You guys to get overwhelmed when you say, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then you find out this huge. And now you have to kind of like renege on what you say he was going to do. Um, and, and that's not a good look. All right. As a business person. All right. So don't make too many promises, period. But definitely don't make ones that you can't keep. All right. So sometimes it's best to just say, nope, I can't do it. Use those two letter words in. O. OK, sometimes it's best to say that. All right. So if someone tells you, oh, they're going to handle half the chores, then make sure that you got time to do your part. Schedule your time. Say, yep, I can do this. So make sure that you actually have time to do it. And that's where your schedule comes into play. It sounds so elementary. But if you sit back and you look at all the things that you do throughout the day and how inconsistent you are at your task, um, it, it makes you inconsistent in other areas in your life as well. OK, so this is consistent. Talking about consistency in everything that you do. Right. Here's another thing. Use negotiation skills. <laughs> Use your negotiation skills. All right. Do that. If someone says, hey, um, I want you to help me move. Can you help me move? And it's like your kids or, you know, your friends. And you're like, sure, I can help you move, but I can't do it at this time. Here are my times that I can be available to you. And I just use move just because, you know, that's the first thing that came to my mind, but it could be anything. All right. So use negotiation skills. If somebody says, you know, want you to help them do something that's going to take you off task, say, yes, I can, but it'll have to be between this time and this time. That way it keeps you consistent, all right, and it keeps you um, committed to, to what it is that you promised that you were going to do, all right? And then the third bullet, be honest and realistic with yourself. Can you do it? Don't make promises that you can't do. Under promise, over deliver, <laughs> okay? This is for my coaches, business people. Under promise, over deliver. Hey, Maria. Under promise, over deliver. All right. Be honest and be realistic with yourself. All right. If you can do it and you know you can do it, go for it. But if you're like, eh, I don't know, be realistic. Do I have the time to do it? And do I have the knowledge, skills and ability to get it done in that set amount of time? If you're not sure, it's like, eh, I don't know. All right. But be honest and realistic with yourself that is huge and that is key when it comes to being being consistent in things all right you have to be honest and you have to be truthful all right 
So if you know, like, it's unrealistic for you to write like a, a 10 pages a day if you're writing a book. If it's unrealistic, don't do that. Don't put that on yourself just because you say, oh, I want to I want to get this book done in this set amount of time. So I'm going to knock out 10 pages and you're sitting there for five or six hours. And now you're just so unmotivated and you're tired and you don't want to do it. And, and the next day you're not going to get up and do it. So don't put that on yourself. Be realistic. Be honest. Say, you know what? I can knock out five today. I can do three to five today and be honest. OK, do that. And key number five for part one, y'all, because we're going to stop today with just part one, because I do have things I have to do for this graduation. Part one, here is the biggie. Reward yourself for completing the goal. Don't forget to reward yourself. Don't wait for acknowledgement for everybody else. I know you're going to post it up and let everybody know you accomplished this, accomplished that. But did you, did you congratulate you? Did you reward you? Oh, I get me a hair, nail combo, something going on, a bag, shoe, something. I'm going to reward myself for accomplishing my goal. Do you reward yourself? Because if you don't reward yourself, sometimes that can be so unmotivating and uninspiring as well. So do that. Go see a movie or plan a dinner for yourself. Table of one. All right. Challenge yourself. All right. Say, all right, this time I knocked out this goal in five days. Next time I'm going to try to knock it out in four. All right. Challenge yourself. OK. If improving your relationship is the goal, I put this in here because we listen, relationships needs consistency, too. All right. So if improving your relationship is the goal, take the friends out or host a dinner. And that way you're still rewarding yourself. For being a good friend <laughs> or a significant other, boo, bae, whatever you are, whatever your status is, all right? You're rewarding yourself and you're being consistent, okay? So um, those were the first five keys um, within 13 keys of being consistent. So in this part, y'all, um, I want to end it right here. Uh, does anyone have any question? What you say, Ms. Simpson said that was on her mind. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions concerning any of the keys we talked about? I'm going to go back and reiterate the keys. Um, and this one, part one, implementing consistent practices. Key number one was create specific and realistic goals. Be specific. Be realistic. All right. While you guys, while I'm waiting on any questions, number two, create a schedule. We talk about that. Y'all will constantly hear that in everything because that is key to being consistent. Post reminders. Some of us need that little extra help. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. If you can't do it, just say, no, I can't. Look at your schedule and see if you have the time. Listen, it's okay to say no to people, all right? Just graciously say, I just can't do it. Look on your schedule, all right? Look on your schedule and see if whatever it is that you're being asked to do, if it fits in there. If it does not, then don't do it. Just say, no, I can't, all right? And number five, reward yourself for completing the goal. Go get your ice cream or something. Not a whole like gallon or nothing, just a small cup, okay? <laughs> And with that, um, anyone have any questions so far? We'll be back next week uh, with part two in this three-part series. And next week is going to be, um, hey, hey, good morning, Evelyn. And next week, we're going to be talking about maintaining consistency. That'll be part two next week. But this is part one on how to be consistent. There's 13 keys and it's and they were so in depth. I had to break it down. All right. Into three uh, different sessions over here. And you guys, I thank you guys for rocking with me. Is everybody joining me from Facebook? Yep. I'm seeing Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. But I also want to give a shout out to all of my friends that are watching me and supporting me over on Twitter. Y'all. Yes, we are over on Twitter. Um, I will edit this and upload it to my friends over on YouTube. 
Y'all know we have to be extra when we do the YouTube stuff. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And to those who may be watching on LinkedIn, but um, especially my Twitter people, y'all been rocking and rolling with me for a while and my Facebook family, uh, friends and crew over here. I thank y'all this morning. Um, so this has been Forward Friday with Dr. K and this has been part one. What'd she say? She said, been up all night going to uh, sleep soon. Congratulations on graduate. Oh, amen. Yes. Get some sleep, Evelyn. Um, you can come back and catch the replay. The replay will be here for your viewing pleasure. All right, y'all, and share it within your group or share it with a friend or invite somebody. You know, just type their name in the comment section and then come find it. And um, I thank you guys for joining me today. So this has been another episode of Forward Friday with Dr. K. And I thank y'all and everybody. Oh, you are so, so welcome. You're so welcome. I thank y'all. And um hopefully we'll we'll get more people over here who are interested in these so these are free mini master classes that i give um just because i want y'all to be successful in what you're doing okay um that's all it is and so i thank y'all and we're gonna go out the same way that we came up in this piece <laughs> we're gonna go out with miss jennifer hudson okay we're gonna go out with her and remember you guys you got this. You got this. Pack up my clothes, shut the door. Back on the road to success. Hop in my two-seater. It's me in the dream, being up. Amen. Stuck to the touch and birth, spitting words of encouragement. Baby. And if you feel what I'm feeling, then don't be scared to say it with me. Say, I got